Well, in Washington, Congress scrambling yet again as the U.S. on the verge of another government shutdown. Next Friday is deadline day for Congress to pass a spending measure as House Speaker Mike Johnson tries to get his party to work together. Republicans are expected to release a stopgap spending measure tomorrow aimed at averting a partial government shutdown by keeping federal agencies open when that funding runs out on Friday. So here for more perspective, we bring in Mark Lauder, former special assistant to President Trump. Mark, great to see you as always. Good to uh, see you. You know, it's, as you know, it's just been over two weeks since Mike Johnson became House Speaker. He is now facing essentially the same problem, problems as his predecessor. Is he going to be able to successfully navigate this? I think it'll be difficult uh, just because obviously not only do you have to get the House of Representatives in line, you also have to get the uh, Democrat Senate and the White House all on board with the package. So I wouldn't put it past him, but I think right now odds are greater than not that we would have at least a partial uh, or a short-term shutdown. We've got to give Mike Johnson time to get the long-term plan together. He's only been there for a couple of weeks, but they will put a priority on Israel, the border, and uh, and really just cutting government spending. Uh, those are going to be the keys in the negotiations. You know, and Mark, just a simple question. I mean, will the House GOP be able to avert a shutdown before Friday's deadline? Because we just see this time and time again. You know, they, they take it right up, it seems like, until the very last moment again, you know, because here we are. There's a holiday, obviously. Uh, and it just seems like we repeat this over and over. No, it is. And, and it's also not new. Uh, Congress loves to work under a deadline and they don't usually do anything unless they face a deadline. So time's running out on Friday. Uh, really, it's going to be more procedurally about how quickly can the House get a bill passed, get it over to the Senate and get the Senate on board with it. And they have timelines as well. So, again, I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility that there could be a short term shutdown. But again, only non-essential services, very small portion of the government. Social Security still goes out. Medicare still takes care of our seniors and everyone who does get furloughed, that very small percentage of people who get furloughed get all of their back pay when they come back. It's almost like an extended paid Thanksgiving vacation. Yeah, it is important to know they do get that back pay. You know, Mark, you certainly know the inner workings of Washington. Why do you think the speaker has yet to announce a plan for a stopgap measure? Is it because there isn't one? Well, I think it's been that he's been in office for about two weeks yeah. uh, and you do have to get the Freedom Caucus. You've got to get the moderates on board. You have to get to 218 votes. And so getting that package together, but then also getting something where, you know, the clock is ticking. So do we send something to the Senate that they can even consider or is it going to be dead on arrival? So trying to play that out. You know, when you've only been there for two weeks, and it takes time. And so I think they will get there, whether we have a few days, maybe a week. Again, it's a holiday week. Non-essential services are the only services that are going to be impacted. Uh, but I, I would see that they'll get something done. Just a question of can they get there in time? OK, you know, and like so many things, it, it seems like common sense would say if we keep having the same problem, maybe we need to look at the root of a problem. Do you think overall policy changes, whether it's on immigration, on foreign aid, you know, et cetera, will that help stop this constant back and forth on spending stop gaps? Well, the problem with that is that, you know, if you were to pass a bill that says we're just going to continue funding the government at the same levels, regardless of whether we pass new budgets or not, actually is an incentive to not pass budgets. And Republicans could just literally, by freezing spending, keeping it where it is, cut spending long term. So Democrats are never going to go along with that. And so while it sounds great on paper, it actually becomes a disincentive for returning quality spending or priority spending. And right now, we've got to get something to Israel. The question is going to be, will Senate Democrats, will the White House try to put Ukraine ahead of Israel and force a government shutdown unless they get everything that they want? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.